What's going on guys? Welcome back to Choco, back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be modifying my wife's 135i even more. So the thing is, we got a dash cam in the car, so now she's fully protected. Um, we got a couple bolt-ons in the car, which looks absolutely amazing. We have some more coming in the way. You guys saw in the last video, we blew out our charge pipe after we installed also a tune-on to this car. So once we saw the JB4 tune, we blew out the charge pipe, so we're gonna need an upgraded charge pipe. We're probably gonna go ahead and upgrade the intercooler, a couple of the things and uh, you know maybe even go to map two. who even knows but in the meantime guys we can't really drive the car until we get that charge pipe in so in the meantime I did get something from Keys Motorsports which is this amazing MMI Prime CIC retrofit kit so I don't know if you guys know what this kit is exactly but basically if you guys have a CIC which is kind of like the newer navigation which you guys will see like pretty much I think 2009 and up you guys can even retrofit the CIC into your car and then do this but if you have to have like a 2009 BMW or newer you pretty much have this type of navigation I believe and this will allow you to have literally Apple CarPlay Apple Maps you can mirror your phone onto this thing and it even gives you the supporting ability to be able to retrofit a camera as well so when you put the car in reverse we're actually gonna have a backup camera which car which this car does not have and that's very 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 important because this car doesn't have sensors or anything so we finally can have a legitimate backup camera we're gonna have Apple navigation we're gonna have Apple music we're gonna have literally Literally everything of a modern car in this 135. I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm super hyped for it. That's probably one of those things that I'm lacking in the driver experience. I'm all about technology and this is gonna be absolutely amazing. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into the install. It's gonna be kind of a lengthy thing, but if you guys wanna see how it's done, you literally have to gut the entire car. But end of the day, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So this is everything you guys will get in your MMI Prime kit. And if you guys opt for the backup camera, this thing is just such high quality. I'm super happy about the button and everything. This looks super nice. And it's definitely gonna be a great addition to this 135. I've literally never owned an e-chassis car that came with this backup camera. So this retrofit is gonna be absolutely amazing. And not to mention Apple CarPlay is gonna be beautiful. Now this is a lot of wiring and it's a very involved process, but it's not the end of the world. It's just a very lengthy process but everything is super easy to do and I haven't seen a video on a 135 yet so I hope this will help out the majority of you guys and I'm gonna try to be as detailed as possible so make sure to smash that like button so first things first we're gonna have to do some things with the interior we're gonna need access to this in a bit so we're gonna have to drop this disconnect it we're gonna have to be taking this off as well taking off this side piece taking off this bottom piece down here and uh, all this center piece over here I do believe you have to remove the trim to remove all the center stuff and then this trim piece that trim piece and this trim piece reason being we're gonna be routing a few cables up here for the microphone so you guys can actually have audio if you don't care about having audio like a microphone and stuff for this for this upgraded kit you can literally avoid taking this apart taking this apart taking that apart and taking this apart so it literally saves you a lot of work but if you guys want to have all the functionality that is a necessary step and then obviously we're gonna to have to route it to this so when we actually hold the menu button it will activate the Apple CarPlay so this is a must and I'm actually gonna be routing another kit cable mainly because I'm doing the backup camera so that's gonna be an extra process I hold till the end because a lot of you guys are probably not gonna be doing this but if you want to do it you will see it in this video the first things first guys we're gonna be loosening up the negative terminal on the battery so just loosen up not too much just enough to where it's wiggling off pull up on it we're good to go put it off to the side as long as it doesn't make contact we're fine first things first guys you're gonna be uh, removing the Sun visor so there's a little clip right over here and uh, basically just pop that up you're gonna see one screw right here. Once you take that screw out, this whole piece should come out. And then you have two more screws right over here. And this whole thing is just connected by one wire. Now that we have moved both of these, we're gonna be coming over here and actually just taking out this one as well, just to relieve all the stress over here. So now, she would have put our finger back here, and there's another tab. This whole thing should come out, and we got a bunch of wires right here at this point. So at this point, guys, now that it's out, we don't need to disconnect any of these but this last one right here. So now that we have this one disconnected, we're gonna be using this mic harness to hook it up. This would just allow us to be able to use the mic functions. So, the side with the white cables, you're just gonna go ahead, reconnect it into here, just like that, you hear a click. This one, you're gonna go ahead and plug it into the original harness of the car. Bada bing, bada bang. And the rest of the wire, we're just gonna go ahead and feed it through here. And then, we can just go ahead and tuck this back up here. At this point, we can go ahead and put this one back on. 
So if you have a thin pry tool or a small flathead, just try to get behind this logo, take off this airbag piece, and then you have one bolt over here we need to take out. I believe that's a T25. So now that we have the wire right here, like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and tuck it, feed it right behind here. Basically just pull down on the roof, tuck it in. Now you can see the cable is right here. You don't want it over the airbag because if anything happens, you want the airbag to deploy properly. So just go ahead and tuck it behind the airbag, plot the cable, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and just route the cable like this. We're gonna have to take this out. So we need to pop this plastic piece on the side out of here just so we can route the cable properly. So we're just gonna be pushing the wire down here. That's probably enough for now. And the next step, we're gonna go ahead and release all the bolts down here so we can get the wire to come through here. All right, now that we drop this, I'm just gonna go ahead and feed all this through the top. And just like that, we should leave a little bit of slack so everything goes back properly. And then uh, this side trim piece right here, we're gonna go ahead and just push it back to where it originally is. So now that this plastic piece is back in, we have the cable right here, we can go ahead and put on this A pillar once again. Now that we have the wire pretty much down here, we have everything else fully assembled. The next step is to not honestly put this back yet. We're just gonna leave the wire down here for a minute. We're gonna be coming around to the center console. We need to remove this wooden uh, piece right here. I believe you just pretty much pry on this. And this whole thing should just come up like that, easy peasy. And now this piece should just pretty much come out, put a little bit of pressure, comes out pretty easy. Push this ribbon in, it's a little clip, comes out. Same for this one, comes out. This is out, put it somewhere good. You don't want to scratch any of this trim piece. Especially this one's in really good shape. The next part is this trim piece. You just pretty much pull on it. It's all tabs, no screws. You want to hold it from the bottom as well. Just like that, it all comes out. Now before taking this out, we have a couple other things we got to remove. We have this piece right here, this piece, and this piece. Remove the iDrive bracket first. Just like that, go ahead and disconnect the cable right here, put this off to the side. So the next step is removing the shift knob and everything here. So you can just pretty much pull back on this. I already did it off camera, but basically pull as hard as you can in fourth gear, it'll come up and this piece will also come out of your way. And now this rubber piece, we can go ahead and move it out of here just so we can route the cable underneath and we can put this right back on top. So the next thing you wanna do is take out these two bolts. Um, what you have to do honestly to remove this piece right here, you have to remove the entire center console. We're not gonna be doing that. That's just a lot, a lot, a lot of work. So we're just gonna be taking out these two bolts and just feed the wire underneath here and it'll come down here and then we'll just feed it right back into this section. So I believe this is either a 10 or a 12. So as you guys can see, there is a little gap over here that we can route the cable through. So that's the gap we're gonna be using. So this is the hardest we're gonna be using for our iDrive controller. So we have the four pin. If you have a 10 pin, then just literally ignore uh, the, the four pin. But if you have a four pin, ignore the 10 pin. So we're gonna be putting our, our four pin into here. We're gonna put the harness right into the controller right here. Clicks in, just like that. Now that it's in there. Now this end of the harness, we're actually gonna be feeding it underneath right here like that, feed it all the way through. We can set this down over here. Don't put it in just yet, just set it down over here. And then grab this wire again, and just feed it through that hole that you guys saw my finger was in earlier. Feed the wire all the way through. It is off to the side right here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap this up later, but for now, we have the wire right over here. We have our microphone wire, and now we also have our uh, controller wire. So we're just gonna leave the two wires over here to when we start routing everything up to the CIC. So at this point, we might as well take out the CIC. So there's one, two, three, four, I believe. So at this point, we can go ahead and just pull out the CIC unit. 
And then, down here, sure. First off, I'm looking for that screw that we dropped earlier. <laughs> Somewhere back here. Nah, I guess we'll find that later. <laughs> so at this point, we're gonna need to disconnect everything that you guys see over here. So we have one, two, three, four, five connectors, and then we have the big, it's called like a multi-point connector. Um, there's a little clip on the bottom. You click on it, you lift the whole thing up, pulls the whole thing out, so we now have the big connector out. And as for these guys, um, they all have like a different way of pulling it out. So on this one, there's a little uh, little clip you press on it, and then you just pretty much keep going back and forth till it comes up, just like that. As for this one, same as well. That's the third one, and then we got two more over here. One, come on, come on. Remember, rock it back and forth. Don't just pry on it one way or you're gonna rip the cable. Okay, now that it's out, you can pretty much just ink it out somehow. Come on, rock it back and forth, there you go. Now this, we're gonna go out and set off to the side. We don't need this for a little bit. So at this point, guys, we're gonna try to go ahead and fish this wire back into this plastic piece and up into here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put this up here. Probably better if you guys had a zip tie, you could probably push down there, tape it to the zip tie and then just pull it up. That is another preferred method, but I'm just gonna do Arab style because it's what I do best. All right, do you see anything over there? All right, now that we have the wire fished through, now you can't see the wire on the side anymore, which is perfect. That was the goal. So we have this wire fished through. We're gonna be putting it into the harness. This is four pin. We'll go ahead and just leave it here for now. The next cable we're gonna try to route through is this uh, microphone cable. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do the exact same method. All right, guys, so we have the microphone cable now routed into here, and they're both exposed. We got the microphone cable right over here, and now we also have the, con the iDark controller routed through here as well, which is perfect. I'm actually not gonna put this together yet because I also have a backup camera that we're gonna be routing the wire through. But if you guys don't have a backup camera, you can go and reassemble this, but we do. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step for now. So now that we have this big connector, we're gonna go ahead and grab our original connector from the car. And before connecting it, we do need to depin something. We have our fiber optics over here. These, you wanna be very careful about them. You do not wanna break these. I've actually had a situation with one of my cars that if you broke this, you're gonna have to replace the entire harness of the entire car. Not to scare you guys, it's not that easy to break, but same time, not something you wanna replace. No, it's no fun. All right, there you go, just like that. We pulled that out. So now that we have the fiber optics out, just remember it went in the outer one right over here. So now that we have that pulled out, we're gonna go ahead Grab our new harness in the exact same orientation. So let's go ahead and just put this same orientation. This is where it goes. So you gotta make sure exact same spot, exact same orientation, the first one. And now this guy right over here, we're gonna go ahead and connect to the harness, just like that. Pull on this down. Should click in like that very nicely. Now as for the four pin, on the harness itself, there should be a connection for a four pin right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the four pin connection. This is for the iDrive controller. And this next one right here, this is for the microphone. So we're gonna go ahead and find the microphone connection. Uh, I believe it's this one, two pin? Yeah, two pin microphone connection right there. So that goes right into the harness. So as for the harness, we have everything reconnected. We have the, the two pin one, the four pin one. The last three connections we have now is that this one that goes into the CIC, this one that goes into the MMI system, the blue box that comes in the box, and then this one we need to connect it to our auxiliary. So we're gonna go ahead and route it the same way we routed the rest of the wires, which is down here. And now that we have this routed off to the side of the center console, go ahead and take off this little plastic piece here. Open up this portion and just connect it to your auxiliary. Since you're gonna be using Bluetooth auxiliary, um, we could just go ahead and connect that there. And again, this wire, we're gonna go ahead and feed it underneath the center console and just like, we'll go ahead and do that in the end when we clean up all the wires. Now for me, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling this section just so we can put in our iDrive controller. Now as for this, we could put it on right now, but I'm going to leave it off just so we don't scratch it up or mess up the boot or anything. Uh, we're just gonna leave this back and uh, just finish up the rest of the assembly process. So the next thing we have is the antenna. So this is honestly something you kind of want to have exposed. Some people honestly say it's fine to have it stuck like against one of these sides, somewhere stuck back here. I actually like it to have it to be kind of exposed somewhere in the driver footwell just for the best connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and route this cable upwards. So I'm gonna leave this over here on the ground. We're going to figure out the best place to put this later. 
And as for this wire, go ahead and route it up the exact same area you've been routing all the other cables at, just like that. And now we have this one. Don't mix it up with the other blue one because this one is actually going to go towards your uh, your MMI system. Actually, you might as well connect that just so we know that's for that one. Go ahead and leave that there. So the LCD in cable that actually has a clearly labeled LCD in, you connect it to the LCD in label right here. And then this cable is gonna be connected to the CIC. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that right dang here. And then this next one right here that says LCD out, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to LCD out just like that. And then this end, you wanna connect it to the actual LCD, which is right here, just like that. Now there is two pink cables, but you can't really mess this step up because this one actually doesn't go in here. Only this one can, so it's the other pink cable. So now we have this going to the CIC, this one, the black one, the blue one, and then we're gonna be having this one, which is gonna be the new color. This is gonna be replacing the pink on the CIC. This is one of the cables from the main harness, which is the power CIC. So this one actually is gonna be going into here where it says power CIC, just like that. And then our last cable that goes into here is this guy right here. This is the one with the USB and the backup camera switches. So we're gonna be using this for the backup camera and the USB. So let's just go ahead and connect this part right here. This one's labeled USB V2 and this one says AV USB. So we are good there now. And like I said, guys, if you guys have a backup camera, um, I don't have a front, I do have a rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my backup camera right now. So this cable right here is gonna connect to our backup camera. You can see this quite a big of a roll. So we're gonna go ahead and do is just go ahead and feed this down to the exact same location to come off the side, the center console. And then these two are gonna stay in here in the center console to connect to the MMI. So if we go ahead and show you guys with this kit, there is an, the rear camera, which we're gonna be connecting just like that eventually. And then this yellow one, we're gonna be connecting to the other part of this harness that says reverse. There is a front, which we're not doing. There is a reverse. So we're just gonna be connecting it just like that. And then, uh, yeah, those are the two connectors. Again, so reverse cable, reverse cable, if you're doing the, the, the backup camera. So at this point, guys, we're just gonna go ahead and feed the whole entire harness through just so we can go ahead and connect it to the back eventually. All right, guys, now that we're just down to these two cables, again, we're gonna go ahead and find the one that's labeled reverse. So this one is labeled reverse. This is front, so the one that says reverse, go ahead and connect that. And it's important that you guys do this because when we actually go ahead and put the, the transmission in reverse, it's gonna go ahead and go to this cable right here. So make sure the reverse is connected properly. And same for this one, make sure it says reverse. Go ahead and connect the power. So now that we have everything connected to our MMI box, we do need to route this USB cable somewhere. So you can either do it through the passenger side or the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and probably do it through the, uh, the I guess the passenger side, just cause. Alrighty, just like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and just leave this out dangling just a little bit and then we'll just tuck it up whenever we don't need to use it and plug in our phones. When we are activating the Apple CarPlay, we will need to have access to this USB. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave it right there. All right guys, so at this point, how I have the MMI set up is uh, basically it's facing downwards back there. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's sitting in a weird way, but it is what it is. And uh, I mean, it's gonna be a little tight fit in here. You probably can organize the wires better. I don't even know if honestly mine's gonna fit in the first try. So uh, this does take a few tries to make sure it sits perfectly where it needs to be. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and um, just reconnect everything to the CIC. So we got this connection right here. We have the black one right over here. This one, where the pink originally was, the blue now from the MMI system is gonna be going to the pink location. The antenna is gonna go right down here as usual. This is the original antenna cable as well. And then the last cable is this pink cable. It's gonna go right here. All right, at this point, guys, we are literally just gonna try to finesse our way and just make sure everything fits. And we're gonna be holding these two cables up. So cut back to you guys once we actually get this thing in there. All right guys, so to get this thing in, it takes a lot of finicking. So basically your cable management has to be perfect. I literally, this is a very tiny car and there's not really much space in there. So this is probably one of the hardest cars. I've done this on an i8, which was the uh, second hardest. The M4 was super easy. This is by far the absolute hardest that ever took me to just finesse everything in there. Mainly because the MMI Prime box, the only way it sits is at an angle like this from behind. It doesn't store over there, it doesn't store over there. It literally just goes in there and just like, it sits like that and you have to kind of put the giant cable off to this side in the bottom corner and then you just kind of finesse everything. Then I got all the bolts in there and uh, thank the Lord that finally went in. I did test everything to check if everything works. I will show you guys that later. Uh, we do have a couple more things we gotta do like mount the antenna cable and uh, route the backup camera cable all the way to the back 
and then uh, you know we'll get that set up and hopefully that will work. Now I wouldn't recommend you guys put everything back together just yet, but I'm the type that likes to finish uh, you know the areas that I just finished working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble all of this, and I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble all that, put the antenna up there. So the only thing I'll have is literally just the the, the camera cable, and then I'll just route that to the trunk and then just finish up in the trunk. That's what I like to do. I'm the type that literally I like to just finish everything step by step. And the worst thing about that though is that if I did mess up, I have to go redo everything. It is what it is, but that's just like for me, it's just kind of like that OCD in this, right? I just finished this section, going ahead and just finish it completely because I don't like everything in the car taken apart. I just kind of get confused where everything goes. That's just my personal thing, but uh, you guys do you, you know? Anywho, uh, so how, this is how it looks now. And, and bam guys, now this is all assembled. The next thing I wanna go ahead and do, like I said, is just finish up all this cable management stuff because there's just a bunch of wires and I wanna start routing the backup camera to the back of this thing. Also, I wanna fix the cable, the, the auxiliary cable. I wanna again route everything where it's perfectly set up. So let's go ahead and just start finicking with all this stuff. It's gonna probably take a minute. So now that we got this fully mounted, I mounted the antenna right up there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, that's how pretty much how I routed the antenna. Looking really good. And as for this side, all the wires are tucked away. There is this, these two wires. That one's for the, uh, the auxiliary, which I'm going to be fully tucking away. And that one I'm going to be tucking towards the back of the center console so I can just put it underneath these seats and uh, access the trunk the easiest way like that. So uh, without further ado. So the last thing we have is literally just this cable. I tucked it all the way around and I literally tucked it right in the middle. As you can see, if I pull on it, it comes from underneath it. So I basically just tucked it in and now the, literally the only cable that's gonna be shown in the car is gonna be looking like that. I mean, you could put an X on this and just put it underneath the carpet, but I don't wanna dig into the carpet. So I'm okay with just seeing, you know, one line at the rear. It looks fine, right, babe? Yep. So uh, anywho, just gonna move that off to the side. We need to pick up the rear seats. So just like that. What up, Julie? We don't need to take it out. <laughs> I'm just gonna feed it underneath. Yeah, just throw it underneath it real quick. Okay. Um, so the next thing you need to do is actually get the wire underneath here. So uh, let's go ahead and see if it'll actually go through. Yeah, maybe it does. So uh, I am feeding the wire and it's going right through. So uh, at this point, we're gonna go to the trunk and just try to pull it through, see if that's possible. Uh, at this point, guys, I'm putting the seat back. Um, we're just gonna tug on this wire a little bit more just to straighten it out, make it look perfect. But uh, once we do that, I'll go ahead and just pretty much put the seat back down. All right guys, so this is gonna be the trunk camera. So if I show you guys exactly where that's gonna go, if you literally bring this down, there's already a button over here. So this is just gonna replace it. So it's gonna have a camera and a button. So kind of like an OEM setup, no drilling needed. So that's gonna look pretty dope. And uh, the button feels really good. It feels like an OEM. Actually, this feels better than an OEM button. I like the click of this better. Okay. Anyhow, so the first thing we're gonna have to do, honestly, we have the cable routed through here. Um, so what I wanna do is honestly get it routed behind this and then bring it up into this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Bring it into here and it's gonna come up in here through the harness. It's gonna be kind of hard to feed it through, but we want it to be an OEM look. So we're gonna have to try to feed it through the best way we can. So we are gonna have to feed the wire through here. I'm gonna do that in a minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all the tabs that's holding this piece on and this piece. So I got you remove this part. Now that we've got literally everything off, this thing should just literally come off just like that. Easy peasy lemon breezy. Mm -hmm. So at this point guys, we are gonna be routing the cable through here and you guys should be able to see that it comes up over here on this side. Just gonna get the whole cable through just like that. You can literally at this point, if you wanted to, if you're like me and you like your things being put together as you're doing the job, put this back together. Just like that, that portion is done. So now that we have the cable through, we're gonna go ahead on this end of it and we're just gonna tape it together. And then we're just gonna pull on this metal piece and hopefully it comes through. We did a really janky method of putting this metal thing together, but uh, hopefully it'll work. 
At this point guys, we got the wire to come up into this. We went ahead and sealed it. Now it's coming through here. The next goal is to fish it again and just try to get it around this up here and just try to get the wire through here. So that's the next goal. I don't know how hard that's gonna be, but we're gonna go ahead and attempt it. We'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, so now that we have the wire coming out right here, the next step we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, just remove this guy and disconnect everything and then insert our new one and then route our cables down here and just try to connect it somewhere back here. Ooh, and it works, shee! All right, now. So, if we click the button, it is working. So at this point, I'm just curious if the camera works. Let's just go ahead and just leave it towards the, the roof, and let's go in the car, put it in reverse, and hey, if I see that back of the camera turning on, shee! Well, we gotta first assemble everything, but I mean. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. Oh, that is so satisfying. Everything is properly wired. Oh, this is such a good work right here. We deserve some ice cream tonight, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. That was a, <laughs> that was a mission. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> that only took about uh, 10 hours. <laughs> With the lunch break. <laughs> oh my god, but guys, now we have Apple CarPlay, we can mirror our phones, we have navigation. So now we can go ahead and sell this button to make an extra <laughs> little bit of money out of it. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. So now that we have everything put back together, guys, we're gonna go ahead and hold the menu button. If you guys hold that. This MMI screen should come up in about three seconds, or, or not, I think that failed. Let's go ahead and click menu back again. And then, oh, that's the back button? No, that's the menu. Oh, maybe you have to hold the menu button, okay. There you go, okay, all right. So now that you hold the menu button, now you're in this menu where you can mirror your phone onto it, which is awesome. But my favorite part, honestly, is just the Apple Maps and Apple Music and all that good stuff. So you can't connect your phone wirelessly until you hook it up manually. So that's what my wife's about to do. She's about to put her phone in through that USB port that we just pretty much like fed through the side. And now that it's connected, she's gonna go ahead and hook up her phone. And then once she actually hooks it up once, the car is gonna recognize it all the time. It's gonna have Bluetooth from here on out, so. At this point, guys, we do have our phones wirelessly connected, which is absolutely perfect. So that literally, as soon as you plug in your phone, it literally prompts you uh, if you wanna accept the wireless connectivity. So that's perfect. So now everything else is working. We have Apple CarPlay, Apple Maps, and I think now if we put the car in reverse from any mode, yes, we have the beepers and we have uh, the, uh, right, I actually was shocked about it, guys. I didn't actually know it comes, it comes with these lines where if you turn your steering wheel, it will adjust the coiling. So that's pretty awesome. And I didn't know she actually had backup sensors, so that's actually crazy. So any of those, this is pretty awesome. Again, I don't know much e-chassis that has a backup camera, and this functionality is just perfect. So it works on Apple CarPlay mode, or if you just have it in your normal CIC mode. So if I go ahead and go home, see, even at the main menu, if I put it in reverse, it automatically does it. So this is absolutely perfect. I love this feature. Now it's literally as if this car had a backup camera from the factory. It even looks like OEM, and the way we wired it is like OEM. So I'm super happy about that. I get the, I guess at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get some ice cream and connect my phone and just jam out and just have a good time in the garage because our charge pipe's blown. Anywho, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. We are getting a new M car on the channel very, very, very soon. I'm working on it. We're just trying to get other things sorted and then as soon as, soon as all that stuff gets sorted, we'll get the new M car on the channel. I am super, super, super stoked. And I know you guys will love this car because it is absolutely a dream car. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have words